Hi, I'm Al Nooner. Uh, I'm employed as Vice President of Facilities Operations for the Geisinger Health System. And today we're here to talk about PowerTech cooling towers, which we've used as a standard for over 20 years. Probably the most important factor to us is the fact that these are variable flow towers. What makes the TowerTech tower different is its ability to A, distribute water better across the fill, and B, the variable flow characteristics. One of the reasons TowerTech towers are so efficient is that the nozzles in the towers have the ability to spray a square pattern. Typically, most towers with a flooded deck just have streams of water coming down into the fill. And the more evenly we can distribute water across the fill of the cooling tower, the higher the heat transfer capacity of the tower. So with the Tower Tech towers, this ability to wet all the fill really boosts the efficiency to be able to utilize your condensing or your evaporative assets in a much more efficient way in a multi multiple chiller plant. Each nozzle in that tower has a three to one turndown ratio. So that, uh, that allows me to operate a plant in ways that I just aren't, aren't even possible uh, with other cooling tower designs. Another aspect is water conservation. Water is very expensive. So the fact that you know, these towers have less drift means that, that uh, we're, we're buying less water and that's a significant savings also. And you can see substantial savings in makeup water used in your towers. So that really your only losses are blow down and evaporation and not so much drift loss out of the top of the tower. So one of the reasons we actually started using Tower Tech Towers was Legionella uh, concerns. Tower Tech Towers uh, don't utilize a sump. Uh, this is important because uh, towers with a sump provide a settling basin. Uh, the settling basin provides food for the organisms in the water and, and allows them to grow and it, they need to be combated with biocides. Since the Tower Tech towers do not have a sump, nothing settles out and so therefore less biocides and chemical treatment are required in their towers. Another aspect uh, of the Tower Tech Towers is, is we consider them to be forever towers. Uh, the construction gives the towers essentially infinite life. The maintenance on the towers is pretty simple. You know, annually we take a look at them. We, of course, have uh, occasional motor changes. Uh, and other than cleaning the fill, there really is very little maintenance. Another aspect is redundancy. So typically on a cross low and larger towers, you've got a single fan or two fans. On the tower tech towers being more modular, you know, for instance, most of the towers we run have six fans on them. So should we lose a fan, it's not a, a huge loss. It's only 15% 15, 15 loss of capacity as opposed to having a tower that's only got one fan and when you lose a fan, you lose everything. So redundancy is a huge issue with it. So with tower tech, uh, we always get the best life cycle cost. Every degree we can lower the condensing temperature on our chillers relates to 2% power savings. So if we can operate a tower tech tower, and we typically buy five degree approach towers, uh, we're typically saving about 10% of all our cooling energy, right? And in a hospital, that's significant because about 40% of the energy use in a hospital is uh, for cooling, you know, for uh, air conditioning the building. So Tower Tech Towers are a significant contributor to the efficiencies we gain in operating our sites. And we use Tower Tech Towers exclusively now for over 20 years. Throughout our healthcare system, we've probably got about 40 towers. We've got them at every site that we need cooling towers. In our Danville campus, which is our largest campus uh, in the system, we've got about 20 towers here, here alone. You know, and in fact, you know, I'm proud to say this, we have scored 100 on Energy Star. So in other words, we are essentially the benchmark in the country uh, for minimizing energy use you know, in a hospital setting. And they've been a great partner over the years. I think we were one of the early adopters in the country. 
I think the best advice we can give is that if, if you're looking for cooling towers, you, you please look beyond just first cost. Tower Tech, in my mind, is the best tower in the industry. It is the most advanced technology. It is without doubt has the longest life and the lowest operating cost. So even though there may be a slight premium up front, uh, you will save that time and time again over the years uh, and, uh, and operational cost of these towers, whether it's energy, water use, or maintenance.